Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. Four years ago or about, I made a video about closing up objects or uh, lining or joining nodes. And today, my, my number one mentor, Roy Brewer from Engraving Concept, gave me a, something I never had seen before and heard of. So we're going to do these four different ways. First of all, we're going to go to object and combine them. Now this is one object. This works the best when you have gaps. So this doesn't really have any gaps, so it's not going to matter. But if you pick the whole thing with the pick tool, then the shape tool, then the shape tool, select the whole thing. And if you will go to Windows, Dockers, and Join Curves, and just hit Apply Mindset on point one, it's going to join those curves. Now, what I said about the gap if you had a gap, none of these other ones are really going to work. Uh, let's break that apart. Let's say you have a little bit of gap. And let's just make it real little. None of, you know, none of these other ones are going to work because my next one, which is a smart field tool, isn't going to work. But if I select both those and go point one, that worked because it closed the gap. So there's a reason to use that tool. The other one is my go-to favorite is the smart field tool. And I'll just set that on whatever color and then I can left click, right click in red and it's one object. Now, Roy Brewer today, I've never heard of this. I don't think if I don't, if I did, I don't remember it. The virtual segment delete key delete stuff. So why would it put stuff together? If you will hold down your shift key, you get this different little icon that's like two nodes trying to go toward each other. And then you get here and it's like captured and it's one object. Like he said in his note to me on YouTube, this would just basically be good if you already have that tool out and you go, I'm going to get rid of that one, but I want to join that one. So I'm going to hit the shift key. You've already got the tool out. It's right there. Anyway, I thank Mr. Brewer for another tip. He's helped me many, many times along this way. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.